Hi, welcome back to another Garden Bench Top tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be propagating this beautiful black gold snake plant that I have. As you can see, it's busting out of its pot, almost due for a replant, a repotting. But what we're in interested in today is propagating one of these beautiful leaves. What you're going to need is number one, your plant. Number two, a container to propagate the leaf in. Number three is some glass beads or marbles. We're going to be putting these in to stabilize the leaf and some garden scissors. I'll put a link in the description below to an article which covers off on all the three different methods we recommend at the garden bench top. But in this tutorial, we're going to be propagating one of these beautiful leaves in water. So if you're ready, let's get started. So first things first, whenever you're propagating, is to sterilize all your equipment. Sterilizing your equipment will help you prevent any spread of disease and unwanted fungus or bacteria between plants. And it's very easy and a step that we always recommend. To do that, we simply get a kitchen paper towel, wet it with uh, rubbing alcohol, grab all your equipment, make sure you give it a good rub, wherever is gonna contact, come in contact with the plant, it's also good practice just to have a quick wipe down of any containers that you're going to be using. It's so, so simple but often overlooked, this practice. So it's best to get into the habit of it straight away. Now, if you're using glass beads like we are, you also should sterilise these. Now, sterilising each one with the rubbing al alcohol would be quite tedious. So what we've done previous to this is boiled these. One thing I did forget to mention at the beginning of this video is that snake plants are mildly toxic. So uh, you want to be wearing some gloves while you're doing this, just to ensure you don't get the sap onto your hands. So some simple kitchen rubber gloves, or if you have gardening gloves, they'll, they'll also work. Okay, let's get cutting. Now you want to do this so that you don't damage any of the other leaves. This one's a little bit awkward actually, so I'm going to cut it at the top here and then I'll, I'll neaten it up later. Okay, so here is our leaf that we've just cut off our snake plant. Don't worry about this uh, rough edge here if it's not a clean cut, because what we're now going to be doing is uh, doing a V cut in this, which encourages stronger root growth. So to do that, we want to measure this compared to our container and where we're going to sit it. Now we're going to have the beads up to about here and we're going to cut a little V shape here and that's going to sit inside the container on the beads. There we go. There's our nice V cut and that's going to sit in there like that and it's ready for propagation. But before we put it into any water, we need to let this air dry for three to five days. And what that does is it heals, it allows this cut to heal up and callus over. Okay, it's been four days since we last cut the snake plant. And as you can see, it has formed a nice seal and has healed up. Unfortunately, the days have been pretty hot. And I'm not too sure if you can see, but there is a bit of a rotted piece on this snake plant. It's starting to get a bit floppy, um, a bit soft. So unfortunately this piece is gonna be unusable. But what I did do was cut another piece from the same. And you can see it's also healed up and has calloused over. So I'm gonna use this piece to try and propagate my black gold snake plant. So what we have, is a nice glass jar. I filled it up with washed liquor balls. I've done another video showing how I wash these and I'll link it in the description below. But I've also got some glass beads to prop up the snake plant and so we can see the roots growing. So what you're gonna do is grab your snake plant piece, put it in, fill the glass beads around it so that it's standing and get some distilled water. You can use filtered or you can use tap water that's been left out for overnight so all the chlorine has been evaporated. And you want to fill it up 
to the point where the snake plant cutting is sitting in the water, but not too much so that it starts to rot. And there we go, we've set up our snake plant cutting to propagate. We're gonna leave this here and we're gonna change out the water every two to three days, just so it keeps it oxygenated and no bacteria forms and begins to rot the cutting. This should take approximately four to six weeks to start rooting, so you're gonna have to keep an eye on it. Place it in a place that has indirect sunlight. Uh, not direct sunlight, it might be a bit too harsh. And let's see how we go. Thanks for watching another tutorial on the garden bench top. Happy gardening.